Okay, Google. We're going to be talking about you today. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about issues with voice detection of your OK Google. If it's just a normal general statement of using OK Google or using it to unlock your phone. So going forward with this video, I will not be using those activation words. I'm just going to simply call it OKG. So this way it's not going to keep on activating my phone and it won't be activating yours. And anytime I do actually say the actual key words, I will be dimming down or bringing down my volume of my voice so it does not activate mine as well as yours device. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out everything I've made so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So there might be one thing that is a little different on my phone that could be different than yours. If you notice that my little Google search bar is completely different, maybe it has the word Google instead of the letter G, maybe mine is a completely different color. Make sure you stay tuned to the rest of this video because then I will be showing you how you are able to edit your Google search bar to look just like mine or another very cool, awesome color. Now first let's get to the point at hand which is the voice detection really isn't quite working for your phone or maybe you would like to retrain it or just basically start completely over. Over. So how you are able to do that is head over into your very top and click on your settings icon. Now, once you click on the settings icon, you will be hitting on applications and then inside of apps, you will be searching and scrolling down to where you see Google. So as you're scrolling down, you will see the word Google. And once you click on that, this is the full application of Google. This is that Google app. This is also taking care of that Google search bar and everything else, because basically the search bar is just a widget based off of this application. Once you click on force stop, then you know that pretty much everything is stopped working in the background. Go underneath the storage and inside of storage, this is where you hit on clear the cache and you can also manage the storage. And then this is where you can clear the Google search data as well as clear all data and pretty much whichever one of those you wanna do first, you are able to. And really now you have pretty much everything that is pretty much all reset. So now your phone is probably gonna pause. It's gonna think a little bit. It's retracting everything that you just pretty much taught that Google search bar and everything else. And once everything is back to normal, you're gonna also notice here too that mine went right back to where it was originally and maybe something a little bit closer to what yours looks like in terms of that Google search bar uh, widget. So you can see that mine does not say Google anymore. It has that little letter of G and it went back to white. So from here on your home screen, if you'd like to, you can go and hit on that G or Google and underneath there, you're going to click on more. Now, if you don't have this widget on your home screen, all you'd have to do is go inside of your application tray. The Google application you can see is right here on the very bottom in the middle. And once you click on that, this is where you can hit on more on the very bottom right hand side and then click on settings. Now, once you've clicked on settings, go to the very top where it says settings one more time and just wait for it to kind of load and hit on continue. This basically kind of lets this application know, hey, I'm ready to go and now I'm gonna go through the rest of all of this. Now, this is where we're gonna talk about the speech and the voice recognition. So right underneath here, underneath the search, you can see where it says voice. And underneath voice, this is where you go to voice match. And then inside of voice match, this is where you hit on access with voice match. And this is where you're also able to unlock your phone with the voice match. Now for just a little bit coming up here, you're gonna see where I have to say those activation keywords of OKG. Um, so you're gonna notice my voice will go dim and it's not an issue with your phone. I just don't wanna activate your phone or anybody else's. So once you click on this little toggle, this is where you hit on I agree. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. When all of that is done, it's gonna say that you are all set, and then you click on finish. So again, I would let this sit here for probably about another five seconds, let it kind of register just a little bit. And then once it kind of sits there for a couple seconds, now go underneath the unlock with voice match. So this allows you to unlock your phone by stating basically OKG, which you know the terms or the activation word, and it's going to unlock your phone. But in order for this to work, you have to prove your identity. You pretty much have to put in your credentials right now for it to work in the future. Once you have placed in your credentials, it's gonna say right here that unlocking with voice match, this is a less secure feature, a similar voice or recording of the voice could unlock your device. After one or more failed attempts, you must unlock your phone another way. But what that means is that if somebody tries to mimic your voice and it doesn't quite match, it's not going to work after that. It's already locked up. So all you would have to do is basically 
actually put in your credentials of your iris, your facial recognition, fingerprint reader, pin, password, whatever that is. And once you've used it and then you hit that power button or it dimmed out, now after that you are able to do it the moment after you put in your credentials. So now in theory, it will be working in both of these areas. This is the always on display and this is the normal lock screen. So if I go from here and I say, okay, Google, tell me a joke. Now you can see that it unlocked the phone. Um, a lot of times when you just say the OKG, OK it probably won't unlock. It's just going to sit there. It's pretty much listening, waiting for you to say something else. So if you try to say just OKG, OK um, it's not going to unlock the phone. You actually have to ask it a question or you can just say unlock my phone. Um, but you just say simply what is the time or what is the weather and then it unlocks it for you and then you don't have to do it with your hands or whatever else. Um, and so now let's say that we wanted to do it with the always on display. Okay, Google. What time is it? The time is 10, 15 p.m. And so now you're able to see it working both with the lock screen as well as the always on display. Now let's go back to one of those questions that you might have, which is changing the color of this widget right here. So if you go on your little widget of the Google search bar, you click on the G or yours might say the word Google. You're going to go on, on that little icon, click on more. And then underneath more, you can see where it says customize widget. Now I do know that this could be region locked um, or country locked. So if you don't see um, customize widget, don't write a comment below. A lot of places have it and a lot of places don't have it. And if you happen to see where it says customize widget, this is where you're able to customize it. So I just wanted to get that answer out there clearly. Uh, I've done one of this little parts in another video and people said that they couldn't customize it. There's really nothing I could do. It just depends on probably where you are or your carrier. Now with this one, you can choose if you want to say G or Google. I'm going to also hit on done and then you can hit on got it. Now, if that's the only thing you want to do, then you're done. Other than that, if you go back to customizing of your widget, so now you can see I have the word of Google. This is where you can make it to where if you want it boxy or squarey, uh, do you want it to be kind of like oval, then you hit on close. Uh, this is where you can change the color. And so you can put it black or pretty much any other color that you want. You can put it as you know pink and magenta and green. Uh, and then also what you know depth or how much of a color grade of that color do you want to use. Um, and then once you've done that, then you'll be able to hit on close and then you can close it again. And then this very last one here, this is the bar shading. So now that you've done the coloring, now you can put in how much shading or pretty much transparency. So you want it to be a solid uh, Google search bar or do you want it to pretty much be something that is see-through? So I pretty much put mine right around there hit on close and then I hit on done. Once you've hit on done, now you have your Google search bar looking the way that you want it to look. Um, it's actually super fun and cool. It, it makes it unique. It makes it your phone. It makes it pop out. Um, green is one of those main colors I use with this widget. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Hopefully you guys have learned something in this video today. Hopefully I have helped you guys out by retraining that voice, resetting all over again, and also changing your color of your Google search bar widget. And also don't forget to hit on subscribe you can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side that little red circle you can subscribe that way share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and outside of that i'll see you guys later